Welcome to this week's painting lesson. I'm using acrylic today, but this would also work in watercolours or poster paint or anything that you have. We've looked at Janet Skate's art and we're going to do a bottom layer today of colour in abstract organic shapes. So I am picking out different colours and just making sure that my paint is nice and smooth and I want a decent, bright, solid cover of paint. So I've started off with art shapes and I'm going around the outsides of them. And you can see me moving around my paper. That's because I'm allowing my paint to dry a little before I go back and do the next layer. This is especially important if you're using watercolours because they will blend and run into each other more than the acrylics. Acrylics contain polymers which are plasticky, which means that the paint doesn't move around as much. You have to really use wet acrylic to make it move around the page. I wanted this to be big and bright like Janet's, pe Janet's paintings, so I've been really careful to keep my paint nice and thick and bright too. I'm just joining up different shapes with new shapes. None of them are very recognisable, but you saw some triangles there, and you saw some rainbows and arches, and you can see that I'm trying to fill every space on my page. So for this session, we're just doing the first layer, which is just an abstract shaped background. Then for the next lesson, we'll be doing the design over the top that will make it look a lot more like Janet's art too. So you can add in some dots and layers and you can mix your colours a little like I am here. You need to fill every space to make it look bright and bold and interesting. Now looking at her art, some of them she separates cool and warm colours a little. So on this one I've decided to use cool colours. The painting I was looking at was almost all warm colour shapes. But I thought I'd have a bit of a change and see how it works with some cooler colours. Remember cooler colours are found in the sea and warmer colours can often be found in a fire. So you can see I'm holding my paintbrush by the ferrule, which is the silver or gold bit usually, because I want to have nice edges. When I'm doing a large space, I usually move my hand back a little so that I can fill the large space with more swooshy brush strokes. When you've finished, you should have a gorgeous, filled page of colour in abstract shapes. Good luck!